How you doing? Uh, today I'm be doing a review on the Umarex 40 XP. I uh, got this at Walmart for about 50 bucks. Uh, CO2 blowback metal slide. Uh, has some nice features. Uh, secondary safety that's built into the trigger. CO2 is housed here in the rear under this door. Um, the space where the piercing knob is, dropout mag also got some, some nice weight to it. So when you hit the mag release, it drops right out. Holds 20 rounds. Um, one of my gripes on this gun, probably about the only gripe, uh, I got some big hands, so it's kind of hard to get in here with the piercing CO2 cap to turn it. Uh, that's about the only thing I can complain about. Uh, the slide locks back when you have an empty mag. So that's a good, uh, that's a good feature. When, you're, you, when your mag's empty, it locks back in, in this position, slide. You uh, have a fake uh, ejection port. Um, got some good weight to it. Uh, Picatinny rail. Can add a laser or torch to it. Uh, the barrel is recessed a little bit, so, um, you know, at a certain angle, you can't really see it. Um, shoots pretty good, pretty accurate. I've got about, about four and a half to five mags out of it, out of one CO2. So that's pretty darn good. It's about 100 BBs. So uh, one thing I found when you're loading it, the CO2 cap, uh, cap uh, piercing cap, or turn it, uh, knob, can hang down and dangle a little bit so it stops the mag from seating properly. So just be aware of that. Like I said, it has some good heft to it. Feels like the real thing. It's supposed to be replica after a Walter P99. Um, I've done some shooting with it. Um, let me show, I have the, it has fiber optic rear sights fixed and I painted a little red dot on mine on the front sight. Um, grips a little wide, but like I said, I got a big hand, so it, it fits fine, fits comfortable. Um, here are some results that I got shooting uh, 10 feet seated, two hand grip, uh, Crossman Copperhead BBs, 5.1 grains, 20 shots total. And I, I got a pretty, pretty good group. It's about the size of a nickel here. So uh, this isn't actually a nickel, this is a one of the batteries for my scopes. So, a uh, couple flyers and some outside of it. It's not too bad. The Daisy, same same position, 10 foot. Seated, two hand grip. Um, got a little better group with one flyer and, and most of the shots were, were all in a nickel size. Uh, Daisy zinc coated precision max BBs, 5.1 grain. So, uh, shoots pretty good. I think, you know, 20, 30 feet, you kill cans with it all day. Uh, like I said, it's only 50 bucks, which is pretty nice for a blowback. Uh, good, realistic, solid weight. The blowback is uh, hard, has a hard kick to it. And it's pretty 
decent in the accuracy uh, department. Uh, I don't have my chronograph with me right now. It's in storage, so you guys stay tuned. I'll get this chronic and see what we're getting. Uh, claimed FPS is about 400 FPS, so we'll see. Um, but for now, hope this was helpful. Uh, two different kinds of ammos. Uh, you choose what you think is tighter. Um, and, you know, someone else could be a better shot than me, so they probably could get a tighter group, but... Uh, this is what you're looking at for accuracy, which is not bad. All right, again, that's the Umarex 40 XP. Thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful, and see you soon with some chronic results.